Good day, Collective. This is a general healing and ascension message for those whose first name starts with the letter M as in money, or you're dealing with someone whose first name starts with the letter M as in money. Okay? Take what resonates, leave what does not. Personal readings are available. The links are in the description box. This is just some information. Some of you guys are investing or either you've already made an investment of some sort. We got the Seven of Pentacles. That's about strategizing long-term, self-care daily, the Justice card. You could be investing in something legal or just something that's unbiased, truth and clarity. But then you have the Ace of Wands in reverse. So collective, either you or somebody that you once used to be engaged with have invested in trying to uh, knock you off, knock you off your palate using some type of manipulation and it's not working with the ace of wands in reverse okay you got capricorn taurus virgo and libra energy also with fire sign energy because so you could find yourself feeling kind of upset right now not motivated not inspired or someone you're connected to is feeling that way you got gemini energy here somebody may want to invest in some type of relationship of some sort yeah, with the temperance energy balance. So collective, either you or somebody that's watching you, they see you as someone that would be a good investment with. Someone that brings balance and temperance energy into their life. And that's the truth. Okay, what's the Queen of Swords energy? Well, no, not Queen of Swords. If you have a Libra in your life right now, uh, this person could be stalking you because they're in spiritual jail because something they were trying to manifest didn't work. And someone has released them and is wanting to come towards you. Air sign energy. So it could be a Gemini, a Libra, and or an Aquarius. But this person is very immature. Maybe you no longer communicate with this person. You already left them out in the cold. Or somebody feels left out in the cold by an air sign. Yeah, you got the Hermit card in reverse and the Nine of Cups. There's an energy of balance taking place, karma taking place, but that's leaving somebody in a, a depressed mode and they could be drinking or being selfish, thinking selfish about something. They're not really clear on how to move forward with an offer of with an offer of love towards someone. It's a lot of drama and conflict. Somebody also could be experiencing problems with their transportation. What's the Ace of Wands in reverse? Ace of Wands in reverse. You got the Moon card in reverse. Somebody's frustrated mentally. They want to take a leap of faith to work on something with the Divine Feminine, but they feel like they can't right now. What's the King of Wands in reverse? You got the Four of Cups. This person is feeling rejected. This person feels like they may have missed an opportunity or they're crying over spilled milk. Intuitively, they know they still have some mental recovery to do. So collective, if you're dealing with somebody and you feel like they're rejecting you right now, it's because they're mentally recovering from a situation that they didn't want to happen. What's the Knight of Wands in reverse? You have the Devil card in reverse. This person is detaching from toxic energies, wrapping up cycles with the World card, successful completion. This person may have found out somebody was using sex as a mechanism to gain control over them, like lust after me type of spell work. Yeah, it's the divine masculine finding out sex magic was being done on him or sent towards him. So he's recovering from finding that out. He's stressed and burdened as well with the Ten of Wands. What's the divine energy message for my collective? First name begins with the letter M. Or those dealing with. 
whether this is you or someone you're dealing with collective make sure you allow this person to grieve any losses that they've had while they correct their mistakes okay this energy does want to take the lead they're just stressed out right now and like i said that's why it's the retreat energy that's why this person has stepped back Collective, make sure you also take time to step back and retreat, like retreat from people, places, and things right now that cause you to kind of feel selfish, even if it's a relationship, okay? You need to face your shadow. Someone is uh, reflecting on who they chose to be sexual, sexually engaged with, and they're practicing on loving themselves right now. Someone is reclaiming their sacral chakra energy. So they can become a clear channel for the universe to work through them. Mm, let's get some signs out. Those dealing with the first name letter. First letter is M. First name letter M. Or those dealing with you could be a female Virgo you could be a Gemini or a Leo or these are the energies involved with this message Gemini is out here and Virgo is out here who is this message for who is doing uh, okay yeah we got Neptune somebody mentally somebody's like really in their emotions right now cancer a cancer could be in their emotions or just kind of in their head about a gemini libra and or an aquarius and then you have scorpio a cancer could be communicating with a scorpio about something that was revealed either in the dream state or um yeah something like that could be involving a libra and or the justice system who was doing sex magic A female Pisces is going to get karma for doing sex magic collective. That's fine. You have Aries. You could be an Aries or that's in your birth chart and you need to be loving yourself after dealing with a Virgo. Taurus, Aquarius, and Capricorn, you need to face your shadow. Who is doing sex magic? Virgo, sun sign and Virgo was doing sex magic. Anybody else? Leo and Capricorn. So collective, you could have been dealing with a Pisces, a Virgo, Aries, Leo, and Capricorn. These individuals did do sex magic on you. And now you find yourself kind of in your emotions and just going through transformation. Maybe you're going to change how you communicate. Okay. You need to do something to get your inspiration and motivation back. Definitely, okay? Um, let me get a healing card for you. What is my collective first name letter is M? Or those dealing with? What's the healing message for those dealing with first name letter M? Or dealing with? No, someone's no longer procrastinating, discovering their life purpose collective, you or somebody you're dealing with, okay? Someone is going to heal their inner child or that's what they're working on. Somebody may also want to apologize, but they're working on uh, healing their pride, okay? And they think you're beautiful or you need to be telling yourself you're beautiful at this moment. Make sure you look in the mirror and you, you tell yourself that you're beautiful, your inner child really wants some attention. Your inner child wants you to feel beautiful or make them feel beautiful. Your inner child says, say what you mean and mean what you say because it's manifesting, especially to individuals that are either in your hometown or either uh, that you knew from uh, in your past, okay? 
So that's the message I have for those who first name starts with the letter M and or dealing with. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye.